Hey, what's going on guys? It's this right here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, we are back with a very special deck that I have actually been playtesting for so long and that is the Royal Giant Sparky deck. That's right, this deck, although it doesn't look good at a first impression, but it's actually been crushing it in this tournament. As you can see, in this tournament log, we are un uh, we've pretty much won every single battle except for three of them. One of the battles was a Mega Knight Balloon deck. That was just bad play by me. I probably should have won that matchup. Uh, the next one I lost is against a spell bait deck. Again, bad play by me. Uh, I faced him the next match I, and I beat him anyways. So that just shows that I can actually match up very well against spell bait. Um, and the last loss is uh, against that Pekka Hog Rider deck uh, that this guy was playing here. Now, he actually went on to win the tournament. Now, Pekka is one of the hardest matchups this deck can face. Um, Obviously, Pekka just absolutely chops up that Royal Giant. So we're going to go ahead and watch this replay as well as that last replay against a Mega Knight Hog deck. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you how you guys can use this deck because it has been crushing the meta right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into that first replay against Ivan Lohaz. Alright, so again, this guy is using this Pekka uh, Hog Baby Dragon. Now, I could have had a chance to win this matchup if I hadn't made such a bad blunder. Now, I can show you where the blunder is in a little bit, but let's go ahead and start up with the battle. So here, not the best starting hand, but he does place down a Hog, so I can take advantage of that. Tornado it to the King's Tower. Hog will only get one hit and a King's Tower activation. So obviously, a pretty good start for me, and um, even against a Pekka deck, this, this Royal Giant deck still fares pretty well, uh, if not for that bad mistake that I literally made. Uh, I'm just, you can tell I'm still pretty salty about that. Uh, but anyways, Royal Giant down, he puts the Pekka down to counter, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead, get a Sparky down in the back to take out that Pekka, because there's no point of supporting that Royal Giant. Again, as you can see, Pekka just chops it down, doesn't even get two shots onto the tower. So here you go, uh, Sparky will very easily take care of that Pekka. Skeleton's down to distract, and a pretty good start, and here is where I screw up. Uh, the Sparky still has a bit of health, so I got really greedy. I didn't think that he would cycle back to his P.E.K.K.A. And I start to I squeeze a Royal Giant in front. That's where I screwed up. With this deck, you do not want to overcommit, especially with the three main kill cards being 6 Elixir, 5 Elixir, and 6 Elixir. And uh, as you can see, I have no Elixir. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. down. And uh, I just have these small cards, Ice Spirit, Log, Skeletons to play, and there's just absolutely nothing I can do to counter this P.E.K.K.A. So here's an example of basically how to not play this deck. And as you can see, I just totally get wrecked. He takes advantage of this, plays a Hog down. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this battle because I just never recover from that initial deficit. As you can see, uh, I do, however, manage to take one tower uh, before the battle ends, but uh, that leaves me so dry on Elite elixir that I literally can't stop but get three crowns. So there we go, um, taking the L uh, and showing you guys how not to play this deck. Uh, don't rush with Royal Giants at the bridge usually. Uh, you don't want to go too offensive with this deck. So let's go ahead, move on to our next replay against a Mega Knight Hog Rider deck. And um, this guy apparently is from Nova One Robles or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's go ahead show you guys how this game plays out. Now, Inferno Dragon is a very annoying card to face, especially with this deck. However, I do have a Lightning, which brings it down relatively low. Now, here, as you can see, here is a very good play. Ice Spirit and Freeze the Hog just at the perfect moment so that the Hog doesn't get a shot onto the tower. And I still activate that King Star. So here he laughs at me. I return that laugh laugh at him and he goes ahead splits bats down the uh, end right there so I'm gonna put an executioner down and get ready for a royal giant push obviously at this time I didn't know that he had an inferno dragon so um uh, I think I go ahead and plop down that Royal Giant. All right, looks like I don't. Uh, and good thing that I didn't, I decided to play Sparky because that Mega Knight would have completely crushed our Royal Giant. Again, uh, you want to 
play very defensive with this deck. You do not want to overcommit and waste Elixir. Now here, uh, I accidentally play that log very badly, uh, but that activated King's Tower comes in clutch and takes out that Mega Knight without any damage. And here's another very good play. If you time that tornado just perfectly, you can counter a Hog Rider without it even touching the tower as I show you right there. And uh, I set up for another Royal Giant. So as I reach 10 Elixir, down goes the Royal Giant. And uh, I still don't know he has an Inferno Dragon. So obviously I'm getting that Sparky ready to counter that Mega Knight. And so again, he goes to an Ice Golem. And uh, as I reach 10 Elixir, I put that Sparky down. And uh, that is when he plays that Inferno Dragon, catches me off guard, and uh, he's gonna counter this push very well as well. I'm gonna go ahead lighting out the Inferno Dragon, Mega Knight, and Ice Golem. Uh, fortunately, that Sparky does take care of everything, and uh, that Inferno Dragon is also low enough health that uh, the tower can take care of that. Here he goes with another Hog Rider, but I use another Ice Spirit and Tornado combination. Tornado's that Hog away, and again, the Hog gets zero hits onto the tower now at this point he does have the damage advantage but I'm gonna go ahead and play my royal giant in the back again this time I am ready for that inferno dragon so I'm gonna put down an executioner and the lightning should go ahead and take that out so uh, let's go ahead he fireballs that executioner and uh, he's gonna go ahead and put down a mega knight too. take advantage of that get some nice lightning value and uh, there you go lightning out all of those troops I tornado everything together he puts down an ice golem which is actually quite good for us because it stalls that troops just enough so that I believe I can squeeze another Royal Giant in front. Here you go. He makes a super bad play. He actually places down goblins in panic, pushes that Sparky behind the Royal Giant. He has nothing to deal with the Sparky. Sparky even gets a shot into the tower. And there you go, guys. Closing that game with a... 1-0 uh, victory against this very popular Mega Knight Hog Rider deck. So there you go, defeating Roberto. Unfortunately, I, I only came in second in this tournament, as you can see right here. Again, I lost to that Ivan Lohas person. But anyways, guys, that is all I have time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. Uh, once again, I have left the uh, deck link in the description. And as always... This is Bludgeon Ray, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel.